Hello everyone, um, it's Lucy here and I hope that you guys are all well. So this week I had a bit of an odd one and I'm going to address the elephant in the room. I have a massive infection on my face so we will ignore that. But yeah, it was an odd one. I went home and got stuff going on at home and like I had an infection and yeah, I just wasn't feeling 100% great and I just really couldn't like spare time to think about like bookscram or like even filming a video um but for a while i've wanted to push back my upload date to sunday so that is what i have done up on a sunday <laughs> um but yeah the infection on my face has just been annoying but you know what can we do she just turned up and caused issues um lots of issues and then yeah as i said i've got stuff like going on at home but i came back to birmingham yesterday evening so now i'm kind of like feeling a little bit better because yeah as i said like the stuff at home was a bit distracting also i'm mouth back fully blonde and i honestly don't recognize myself it has been a while since i have been this blonde and now my eyebrows look really dark <laughs> but yeah i really like it i got my hair done at the salon back at home a girl i went to school with so yeah it's, it's really nice it's cool it's lovely so yeah um because this week has been a bit of a strange one for me i thought it would be nice if we did like a nice chilled relaxed type of vlog where like you come along with me to move my i'm kind of like doing you know stuff to make myself feel better and to feel more productive because the thing is with me if stuff doesn't like go to plan i'll be the first person to kick off but um yeah I just need to realise that like I'm not in control of everything all the time and that is fine. I'm sorry guys, but you are just prepped up on some toiletries. So if you fall, I am sorry. Well somebody the other day asked me um what skincare do I use it was for my QA and at the time I was having quite problems with my skin, like I still am obviously. Um my morning and evening routine differs, so I'm gonna just take you through my morning uh, skin routine. So you can do this with like a flannel or whatever, but because of my infection, I'm using disposable things um, at the moment, which is, you know, if you're environmentally conscious, I'm sorry, but I'm not a good washer towel, but I'm paying for circuit laundry at this university, which is disgusting. So I'm just gonna wet this and then wipe my face down with this just to like get rid of, because I put like, cre antibiotic cream on last night. And after I've done that, I go in with, so yeah, I go in with a La Roche Posay and this is the, it's part of the acne range and it's the kind of like the toner I would like to say. So it's the exfoliant toner and I just go in around that because other areas of my skin pre-infection were not very great. And this helps like after, if you moisturise as well, it helps keep it all nice. Um, so once that's like setting, you can like, I don't use the face wash in the morning um, because that can be very, very drying. Because if you put makeup on during the day as well, like it can just make it feel like your face really itchy. So I'm just gonna go in with the Blush Rose, it's part of the acne range. And this is the Duro Cream. And it's like, helps kind of get rid of like any imperfections. It's kind of a bit like Duac. If you've had that um, for acne treatment, it's just like, the, I would say probably similar. It doesn't have the same ingredients, but like it has the same purpose, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna pop this where I get, have a few what like under skin spots. And this will help, you know, tackle things. Meg Hughes, the YouTuber Meg Hughes uses this product because she's got insane skin, so let's hop it because me. Yeah, so my moisturizer I use is a CeraVe one and this is the day moisturizer it's big goods free and it has spf in so kind of hits all the nails in the head my skin's been quite weird so i've had like eczema and stuff recently so i'm like putting you with it on my neck and like the dry areas and yeah that is that is it
so I've just basically collected the biggest haul ever um books and some clothes yeah, so next week I'm going to be doing like a video showing you guys like everything that I have collected and yeah I can't wait like it's been something that I have been planning because you know what shops have opened it's getting into summer so I'm gonna be doing like my summer feels but yeah I've just done some work this morning as I usually do got fair way through what I wanted to do so I'm just gonna have something quick to eat now and then watch some YouTube and go back to it and then I'll get properly ready and then we can go on a nice cute little walk together to the shops and get my supper for the evening. I am gonna have to do a shopping list now otherwise I'll forget everything. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm wearing my AirPods because I'm an AirPod bitch now. But I just did some more work and I really didn't want to show you any more of that because like you've had enough montages of me typing on a laptop and getting stressed. So uh, I thought now I bought these jeans, these pink jeans that you was, you will be seeing right here right now on Stravidus or Stravidaris, how we, how we say it. Um, and as you can see, so the blue jeans represent jeans that fit me perfectly, fit me like a glove, fit my leg length amazingly. And as you can see, there's a big difference. Um, but the frayed ends are a good way of getting it. So now I'm just going to try and attempt to cut them. So I thought it would be fun if we could cut them together. So I'm going to try and cut these jeans. If it fails, it fails and there's nothing I can do. Do you think I could make a headband on the remaining? Materials. You people like make tops, some people are just so clever with stuff like this. Like the most textiles I've ever done was I used to make cushions like uh, when I was in about 14. I used to make them quite well. Um, but like, you know, so obviously I'd make like the cushion cases, like I wasn't making like the stuff that goes inside and buy that. But yeah, I made cushions and like, I actually just throw in the one that I made out and kept myself over the day. Yeah. I haven't done that bad of a job. Like, I think I've done an alright job. Like, they're meant to be like really, really wide leg and like baggy. And I normally tend to wear chunky trainers on like my docks. So I think that that'll be fine. I'm now gonna get ready and go to the supermarket. I normally like go to the supermarket probably looking, looking like this. Um, but today I just want to feel a bit better because that's the whole purpose of this vlog. We're like looking after ourselves. Um, yeah, so makeup wise I have a few like products that I would class as like holy grail ones like ones that I would always use like regardless and I am love highlighter and love highlighter so I use this glossier one and this is in the shade quartz so it's Haloscope by glossier I've got the lid here but yeah it just goes on really nice and it gives you a lovely glowy look. I also love Glossier's cloud paint, so the blush, liquid blushes, like just do stuff to my face. And just, you just wouldn't understand. Right now, lip wise, I have one lipstick that I've always used, like always, always used, and this is a real London one by Kate Moss and the shade 45. Like it's not matte, matte lipstick doesn't work for me because my lips just get so dry. Even if I put like gloss or if I put a balm on beforehand. Um, and it's like a similar shade to probably what I would say velvet teddy, but a bit more pink. So if you want like a nice pink sheeny lip gloss, then I'd uh, not lip gloss, lipstick, then I'd recommend this. And then also, as I said, like a good lip gloss goes a long way. The glossier one, like probably doesn't need introduction, but like that is one thing that I do love. Another thing that is kind of like a bit of a hack, makeup hack wise, I think, is using brown mascara for your eyebrows. So I used to use this pre uh, so bad days. As you can see, my eyebrows are just naturally bushy and I love them. Like, I love my brows. I don't care, like, if people don't, like, I love them. Um, so I just get any, any old brown mascara will do um, with this kind of like sort of head. Um, yeah, like that goes. It makes them look really nice also if you don't want really like smudgy makeup like mascara brown just doesn't smudge like what even black waterproof smudges for me but brown doesn't like it 
it goes on really nice and stays really nice so i highly recommend uh brown mascara and then another rimmel max blush i just love blusher at the moment um i've always been a big fan of blush i never ever stopped using it like i know like contour was like the thing but i was never that good at contour so even though i should really because my nose is massive but like max blush really good okay so i'm gonna come back when i'm all done so in three two one it curled my hair a bit again um but i think i've done it too curly but this is what this is what i look like so i've got a denim jacket on and i've put some jeans on and then we're gonna go shopping this is the outfit for the day i've got my denim jacket on some jeans on and just a random tote bag and yeah i got these glasses like last year i just put them on because as you can see it's glorious outside so it's never really glorious around in england so i might as well wear them um i've also started to get really bad cramps because it's that time of the month girls so is it a risk wearing these trousers yeah it is because let's just say that i don't get pretty periods so i'm gonna run i'm gonna go and do my shopping now and then it's hot water bottle time when i come back but yeah do i look cool <laughs> no i don't <laughs> i think i look cool now so Let's get a mask and go, bitches. Back from my food shop. If I'm honest, it wasn't enjoyable this week. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because I've started to get really bad cramps, but I just didn't enjoy it. But I did get some good things. I got, like, they didn't have some of the stuff I needed, but I've got all the ingredients for tonight's yakisoba, guys, for tonight's cooking with Lucy. So at least we've got that. Bought myself some wee tulips, so I'm going to sort them out. And then I think afterwards, I'm just going to chill for a bit and then make myself dinner because my cramps are just killing me. Like, they are actually, I'm in pain. I'm in a lot of pain. Um, I'm hoping that they might be not as heavy tomorrow. That's like wishful thinking. But I'm hoping, like, it's meant to be a nice day. So I would like to like go for a walk, I think, just to, like after doing some uni work. I don't know. But ah oh, yeah, my cramps are really, really coming through. I don't know what I did in a past life. I must have killed someone or something. I like worked for the devil, because like this is just like As you can see, they didn't work out how I wanted them to. They've just gone a bit droopy, if I'm honest. Like they just look really, really droopy. Like me. I do feel quite droopy right now. I need to get out with these claws and put something comfy on because cramps have emerged. I've just been chilling here actually in the sun, like enjoying just the heat on me. I don't know whether it's just like period things or what. But now guys, I'm going to decide what book I should read tonight, I think. Um, and then it's time to have something to eat because I'm quite hungry. I think there's a spider. I've got a spider down there. That sort of spider, guys. It is just probably. Oh my god, is it? No, it's just some crusty dust. God, that scared the life out of me. I came back when I came back um, when I moved in. There was a big spider like in my drawers. I've been enjoying recently books by Japanese authors, and I've got a new one. I didn't know whether to read it now because I am going to include it in my haul next week. But I think yeah, I'm going to read it now bit different from what i last read because i last read kind of like a feel good thing which this could be so it is they can't offer if chop so i can't wait to get into this plus it's a nice shade of pink i love this pink <laughs> okay so it's now cooking with lucy time on tonight's cooking with lucy i'm like treating it if it's like master chef but it's not so today i'm going to be cooking yakisoba and this is essentially just like a posh prawn stir fry normally you use soba noodles so like you know the wheat ones um but i couldn't find any today and the only ones that i could find were egg noodles but egg noodles are actually quite nice um because you are meant to put egg in it and I'm not really feeling egg at the moment. I've got eggs, but I'm not really feeling them. Um, but you know, I'm here with eggs don't really agree with me. So yeah, we're gonna avoid it. The ingredients is pretty simple. All you need is king prawns, so egg, soba noodles or egg noodles, bean sprouts, uh, a red pepper, 
and spring onions, sesame seeds, and the stuff for the sauce you need obviously dark soy sauce to cook, and you need some garlic chili sauce, just to a little bit of that, and oyster sauce. So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. <laughs> I need a working presentation, but it is paying, believe me. But that's the yucky soap I've done. That yucky soap was delicious, like delicious. I am not good at presenting food, but I am good at cooking it. I'm just not good at like presenting it. Um, but yeah, it was lovely. Like it's such, it's one of like my favorite comfort dishes. So. Like when I've not been feeling good, I like to eat something that I know I'm gonna like and I love it. Like every time I make it, I'm getting better. Um, now I just need to improve my presentation. I didn't put egg in it today because egg just doesn't agree with me and I've already had the egg noodles. So I was just a bit like, Bleh. but yeah, now I'm just gonna be making a cup of tea. I'm gonna watch some, finish watching some YouTube. Then I'm gonna do some skincare. And then I think I'm actually gonna do like a light workout because that helps with my cramps. I don't know about whether that helps anyone else with theirs, but it helps me, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do a workout now, but I'm not gonna film it because I'm a bit insecure about how I look when I work out. Um, but I'll show you which one I do because it's not too high intensity and being having heart problems and stuff, I can't really be doing something that like, you know, throws me about all over the joint. So yeah, I'll just get it up now. It's like just on YouTube. So it's this one. This is the one that I do. So it's by Daniel Pisa and she's like a dancer. And like, I think dancers have the most, like strongest bodies ever. So, you know, and it's fun and it's not too grueling. So I'm gonna do that now. It's 24 minutes and I'm gonna go have a shower. And then we're gonna get into um, this little book here. I'm excited to read this one. As I said, I've been really enjoying Japanese fiction recently. And this is just another great one that I've heard so many great things about. Um, I got this secondhand actually, but I'll discuss more about where I got this book and everything next week in my haul, which I can't wait to film. <laughs> and I just noticed when I was like, that wow, Pickup has a lovely contents page. For like all the chapters i suppose but like i don't know whether the essence of it is like kind of like not a biography type of thing we were in i mean i can't wait to get into this so i'm gonna get into that and drink my lemon tea so i will see you guys probably in a bit before i'm about to go to bed i've reached about the 80 page mark and i'm liking it so far um it's kind of giving me convenient Star Woman vibes because the main character here going here uh, reminds me so much of like the main character in Convenient Star Woman. And if you've seen my review of that on my bookstagram, you know how much I like that book. So yeah, um, I'm really enjoying it so far. Can't wait to get more into it, like probably tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go and brush my teeth now because it's gonna get late. Um, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello everyone, it's now the next day. Um, yeah, so I know you're gonna be angry with me. You're gonna be like, Lucy, you've just made us watch one second clips of your morning rather than taking it through. <laughs> I was through it. But um, I literally, my morning routine is my set morning routine. So what you saw yesterday in like that section is what I did this morning. Um, currently right now I'm doing some work. I've had some meetings this morning. Um, so I just got, got ready. And did them 
it's a nice day outside like i don't know whether it's hot but it's sunny and i'm thinking i'm going to take myself on like a nice cute little date and bring you guys along with me i think i might go into waterstones and have a little browse around i mean i have been in a charity shop and bought books past week but i have not been in like you know proper bookstore and we all know how much serotonin that gives us so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm currently just finishing off some stuff so i'll finish that first because that obviously urgently needs doing and if i won't be able to enjoy myself if i'm just sat thinking about this so yeah i'm gonna finish that have something to eat and then get some makeup on my face and make myself feel good and then we're gonna go how about that <laughs> Right, so I've done that bit of work. Now I'm gonna do my makeup. So should we do another little fun transition? Yeah, we should. Okay, so three, two, one. This is the finished look. I've gone for quite a basic fit today. I didn't feel like going anything fancy dancy. But yeah, I'm gonna head into town, put my hair up half down. Classic loose look, so. in my humble abode um i'll show you the books i got i've got two books so one is sylvia plath's the bell jar this is a classic that i have been meaning to read probably since i got into reading to be fair like i've seen so many good things and it sounds like a book that would interest me a classic that you know is worthwhile to me so i just thought go and get it. and then i've got this one by Emma mcbride um This is kind of sounds a bit like a mixed horror, mixed with dystopian, giving me summer calmy vibes. I don't know like, why I can't wait getting this. So the synopsis is, a woman enters a, re a vegan hotel room. She's been here once before, but while the room hasn't changed, she's a different person now. Forever caught between check-in and check-out, she will go on to occupy the hotel room from Prague to Oslo, Auckland to Austin. Each is anonymous as the last. There, amid the open suitcase, the matchbox, cigarettes, key rooms, room service, wine, she will negotiate with memory and with the men she sometimes meets. This sounds quite interesting. It's a short one. It's 147 pages. So I can't wait to get into this one. Right. Um, now, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I think I'm going to um, take some much needed bookstagram content because I've been obviously absent. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna freshen up, get changed of an outfit that I'm gonna, you know, do for the, for the post. I think I'm gonna do like a favourite colour stack. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Pink and green. Maybe green is my ultimate favourite colour, by the way. Um, but at the moment I'm enjoying pink, as you can see, because I'm wearing a pink bra underneath the yellow top. That's just not ideal. But yes, that's what we're gonna do now. So I'll bring you along with that. Then I'm going to do my this segment of cooking with Lucy and then I probably will say we'll read together again tonight. That's what we'll do. Okay, I've just myself up. So I've got a tank top on. Sorry if you can see the nipple. I know this. And then I've done this as kind of like my setup. So the colours is obviously mini green and pink. So I thought it would be I've got pink bedding on and I've got both types of cushions so I like might as well incorporate guys so let's see where I can set my tripod and then I'll show you guys the finished images I managed to get some photos actually some like really really nice ones uh I'll insert them here I think they were night like, decent they weren't too um yeah they weren't too I mean it took me a while but I think that's just because I haven't really took photos in a while so I was a bit like unsure of myself but okay now I'm just basking in the sun and it's now time for Cooking with Lucy. Okay, on today's episode of Cooking with Lucy, we are going to be making um, pasta, so a nice pasta dish. And you can do different things with like the basis of this. So it's obviously penne pasta with tomatoes, mushrooms and spinach. And then the sauce is pesto. And yeah, 
so you can basically do anything you want with it you can add chicken in if you want to um yeah it's a good carby dish that will get you through your period so that's why i'm cooking it tonight Skincare time. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Um, I like to do skincare after I've had my tea because otherwise I'll get to like nine o'clock and I'll be like, oh, I've still got a full face on. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna take off my AirPods and do some skincare. I did a workout and everything, and then I forgot who I was and FaceTime my boyfriend for a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to continue FaceTiming him tonight and then I'm going to read a bit, but for now I'm going to make my majestic lemon tea. So yeah. So I have just been reading uh, some more of the Meccano thrift shop and I've actually, I really like it. Um, it's give as I said probably yes in like part of yesterday's bit of the vlog that it really reminds me of the convenience store woman and I really love that book. Um, there's lots of quirks in it. It's to me it's not as good as the convenience store woman. Um, there's like not as I, I don't know, but the characters there's some characters that are quite the similar and um, yeah I'm just really enjoying it. So if you like the convenience store woman. Um, or even if you want to get into more like Japanese authors, I'd highly recommend this book. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I didn't think I would. And um, yeah, so I think, guys, this is going to be the last time I speak to you. I'm going to leave you with some clips of me doing more reading. But um, yeah, I have really enjoyed bringing you guys along with me. I am feeling a lot better now. It's just been a bit of a weird week. Um, I'm now getting back into the swing of things and feeling more like myself which is good. I really enjoy going into town today and looking at some books. And yeah, I just had so much fun bringing you guys along. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. I don't know whether it's going to be good or not. I'm going to have to look back and edit this now. But um, yeah, I feel much better. Um, yeah, I'm also enjoying being back here on my own. I really enjoy my own space. I, I feel safe here. But yeah, I'm enjoying being back here on my own. Now I'm like properly settled back into a routine and feeling better. So yeah, um, hopefully next time you see me, I won't have an infection on my face. So, and I'm really excited for next week's video. I've been planning it for a while and yeah, I can't wait to finally upload it and well, film it even. So I'm gonna be filming that next week. So I'm super excited. So yeah i'll see you guys next sunday because i've changed my uploading so lots of love and i'm going to sign off here but enjoy these next clips see you later